Okay, when you guys are. Hey, Matt, they have a, they have a pretty good pass rusher. I mean, they have a pretty good pass rusher in general, but they have specifically a very, very good player. Um, what do you think of him when you watch Adrian Hutchinson Hutch on tape? How do you guys go about crafting a plan? Yeah, yeah. Um, like you said, he is really good. He's the best defensive player we've seen on tape. Uh, plays with great motor. Um, so it looks like they give him some freedom, and he's but he's always in the right place at the right time. But he uh, chases things down, never takes a play off. Uh, explosive, strong. Um, yeah, we just got to be aware where, where he is at all times. Does he move? Uh, is he just an end, or will they move him inside and try to get him different matchups? Uh, they, they, they move him around a little bit. Uh, I mean, I've seen him drop in coverage. He's He's uh, a definite weapon on the edge, um, but uh, yeah, they haven't, they haven't used him inside too much. But it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, he can just, he has a skill set that can do a lot of different things, and, and they use it well. Michigan hasn't seen a quarterback like Adrian this year, really. But how do you guys take advantage of that and catch them off guard from the stuff Adrian does? Yeah, I mean, we're we're kind of be who we are and kind of do what we do, and and hope you know Adrian continues to play well and, and do some good things. Uh, I know Rutgers has a guy that can. They ran, he ran the ball decent. Uh, played played here. Pretty good player. You know, similar. But I do think Adrian's playing at a at elite level right now. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I just I hope that shows again on Saturday. I know he's he's fired up for the challenge. You talked to Scott yesterday about the, the way that your new starting offensive linemen handled themselves. Was there anything about the way Teddy and Nori and then Turner on the other side played that, that surprised you at all? And what did you think? Uh, well, you, you never know uh, when you put new guys in, especially starting, how they're going to handle it. Uh, we felt good about it. That's why we made the change. Um, so, yeah, you just, you, as a coach, sometimes you, just, you were how are they can handle their first start, big game, conference game, all that type of stuff, and they handled it really well. You know, and they, they proved it in practice, so we had a good – we felt a lot of confidence going in that they were going to play well. And the competition's made everyone better, so it's, it's been a good thing for us. That's huge. Yeah, it, yeah, last game was the healthiest we've been all season as far as I think everybody was available for the most part, um, which was really good because you can rest guys. Uh, you, I think we had a whole bunch of different guys touch the ball, which we want to continue to do that. Um, it, it just helps everybody else out. It helps you in practice too. Good. Yeah, no, he did good. He's full speed, 100%. 100%. We... Uh, we were a little cautious in the beginning of the week, just wanted to make sure that we weren't rushing him back too soon. But, you know, just gauging him, he, he felt like he was good to go, and uh, he, he played like it. So, yeah, we're happy with, with his progress. Scott, Scott said on, on Saturday that he'd been waiting to see someone make a tackle of this, sort of turn out a small game to a big game. Uh, is Jacquez, I guess, sort of uniquely suited to that? And then also more generally, um, how nice was it to see some of the yeah, it's huge. It's huge. Uh, yards after contact, something we talk about all the time. And uh, Yant did a great job taking advantage of his opportunity, just, just running physical, running physical, running through arms, running with low pad level, um, had good ball security. So that, that, that was a big deal because that's something that we've, like you said, we haven't done a great job of that. Um, and that, that was big to see him give us that. And I thought Ramir ran really well as well. And, and he actually, there, there was some, Hidden yards where he broke through some tackles as well, and some of the receiver. We didn't throw a lot to the receivers as far as just like quick game where they had opportunity, but we saw some guys make plays, which was good out in space. And so all, all our skill guys. And Adrian's been doing it all, all year long, uh, breaking tackles, making guys miss, and running well with the football. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, to his credit, he's done a good job. It's hard. I mean, he's a freshman, so I think any freshman trying to learn a new scheme and, and is hard. And so he's got to have reps. Uh, but a big part of his deal is what Coach Frost said: is conditioning. You know, and getting him down. I think he's lost 30 pounds and getting him playing shape. Um, because if you're tired, nothing looks good. And and so getting him to be able to do more than one consecutive carry, and and he's embraced that and worked his tail off. And he. Uh, I know Coach Frost, Coach Held really challenged him to get in plain shape, and he did that, and it showed on Saturday. Yes. Yep. Uh, I think so. I think so. He's been he's been conditioning with us the whole time. 
but just getting out uh, and again that's that's kind of a medical question so I don't know exactly where where that is at but he looks great his rehab's gone faster than expected um, he's done a great job he's done a great job of staying in the game mentally so uh, yeah I hope he can go soon but I don't I don't know Yeah, well, it was the, the the blessing in disguise. It's good to have everyone healthy and back, and, and Austin Travis are two focal point players for our offense. But when they were down, those other guys got experience and depth, and so they, they still have that experience and depth. And when you bring your two, you know, your, your two experienced starters back, now you have just a a more conditioned room of guys that can play and, and spell guys. So it's just. It, when those guys got hurt, it gave someone else an opportunity to get better and get reps, and so they, they took advantage of that, so we just feel like we have more depth at that position. It seems like Burlington sort of lives for those goal line situations. You, know, you like watching him not go, watching some of his blocks back. Yeah, I lo love his toughness. He, I mean, he's a fearless player. He, he can play receiver, so he's he knows both uh, receiver and tight end, and, yeah, we, we can do a lot of different things with that guy. And I, he, he has a lot of good stuff ahead of him. You know, another first-year player that got here – you know, in the summer, he's trying to figure things out, and he's done a great job. Very conscientious, uh, very cerebr cerebral, picks things up fast. And then I think what you guys see is how physical he is, and he's done a really good job of that when we've used him. Matt, I know we touched on Hutchinson, but um, what does Michigan's defense do really well? Uh, they do er everything well. I mean, they're one of the best in the, in, in the college football, you know, as far as giving up points, which is the number one thing, is not letting your opponent score more points than, than you. Uh, you know, the, Hutchinson gets a lot, and he deserves everything he gets, but the other edge rushers are pretty darn good too. You know, and, and they have depth where they, sub, they have different sub packages. Uh, when, they, when they bring different guys in, the, the different guys, that level still stays at a high level as far as guys playing fast, running the football, being physical. Um, they've created a lot of negative plays, which has got guys behind the sticks and forces you to, to do things that you may not want to do. Uh, we want to stay out of negative plays. Um, but they've done a good job of that. And, uh, you know, they're, they're very physical. So they pin their ears back and they, they tackle well. They uh, sprint to the ball. They play hard. So they're well motivated. They're well coached. Um, they're playing together. So it's going to be a huge, huge challenge for us. Uh, you know, I, 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 I don't, I don't know. It's a good question. I think, uh, that was a focal point for us in the summertime is figuring out ways to get the ball down the field. You know, you got a quarterback that can do that. You got to be able to protect. There's a whole bunch of things that go into that, um, developing pass concepts that you feel comfortable with that your guys can execute. So, you know, that was a big mission for us. And you got to have playmakers that can make plays. So, and we, we, we've been better this year than we were last year. And I, I think that's going to continue to improve. Um, but yeah, that, the thing that we want to be to a defense is we don't want to be one dimensional. Um, and we want, defense, we want to be able to threaten the whole field. You know, because if, if you can't threaten the ball down the field and that changes the way they play, they can be a lot more aggressive. So we always want to be able to do that, throw the ball down the field. We also want to be able to spread them out horizontally, make them defend, you know, the flats. And that helps us run the football.